How's it going everyone? You're watching The Green Dream Project. Now if you caught our last episode, you know we finished the cob on the outside of the earth bag dome. Now we're trying to cover the inside. So there's a lot to do, but hopefully I can do it fairly quickly. Who else flings mud on the walls of their house? Us, that's who. Now, I should have made a lot more progress than we have, but unfortunately, car issues. You know what I'm talking about? So I woke up the other day to a flat tire over here. And flat tires aren't new around here. Unfortunately, it's just something we have to deal with out here because these roads are kind of rough for these car tires, so I'm always getting flats. So although that wasn't that big of a deal, I could take care of that pretty easy. I didn't want to put the donut on the front of the car. So I ended up taking this tire off, but in doing so, a couple of the wheel stems ended up breaking off. So I put the donut on the front, then I had to carefully get this into town so I could get the parts to get everything fixed. Ridiculous, but that set me back a day. But now, it's time to get back to work on the dome. I gotta get inside there, and I gotta get muddy. Now, of course, we tried a couple of different methods for getting some mud on the inside of those walls. I think I might end up just kind of working with the broom, because I don't want to have to take time to sift all the tiny little rocks out in order to use the cob cannon. So I'm gonna give that a shot. So there's a lot to do, but hopefully I can do it fairly quickly. I also got a bucket of water here for my workspace, and this bucket of water is eventually gonna turn into a mud bucket. I'm gonna use that to dip my, dip the broom in there. I was hoping the mud would just melt right off the broom, but uh, man, this stuff is, this stuff is sticky and gets hard and does not melt right away in the water. I guess that's good for the outside, considering the dome. It's working its way out slowly but surely. I have to just remember to kind of clean this out. We didn't have a bucket before that we could use for this, but uh, now that we have one, I'll just have to remember to clean it off before it dries. All right, the broom is back in business. Let's get some mud on these walls, right? Who else flings mud on the walls of their house? Us, that's who. And I'm wearing goggles today because the last time I tried doing this, I got some mud splash in my eye and that was not fun. Took a couple of days in order for that scratchy feeling to go away. How's it looking? <laughs> Muddy. Muddy! Mud skipper, it's muddy. Mud skipper, it's muddy. You familiar with Muddy Mud Skipper? No. What? <laughs> then what am I singing for? Is that like Woody Woodpecker? No, it's Muddy Mud Skipper. <laughs> Man, if you don't know, you don't know. I don't know, I don't know what you thought of my new method. I mean, basically I used that broom, splashing mud around everywhere. I mean, I know you tried to stay as far away from that area as possible when I was working. Whatever works, right? Whatever works. I mean, I know we had a lot of comments about getting a different tool, getting a larger air compressor, but you know what? I'm like, I got this broom, just keep that liquidy. <laughs> And I got it done. I got it done pretty pretty quick. We didn't have to spend any money. Didn't have to spend any money. Well, any more money. What's that? No? What do you think I need help for? I got this. 
It's just me and the people We're going to get water. Heading to the hacienda with my jugs to get a little bit of water. Made it. All right. Unfortunately, it hasn't rained a ton out here. Uh, I think we got just the, uh, it's just like 0.6 inches since I got the rainwater harvesting set up. But there's plenty of water in these totes. Over 200 gallons, I'd say. Probably best to use the water from here versus uh, the poly tanks, because the poly tank water we use for everything. But as you can see, the new setup here works real nice. No leaks anywhere, and the IBC totes will fill up at the same time and empty at the same time as well. All filled up, let's head back. Not quite as convenient as the, uh, the little blue jugs that we use, but that's not too bad either. All right, it's a new day, and I have got some more work to do. As you can see, I started uh, I started on those upper layer of bags. I pretty much got the uh, lower level finished. Now to hit the upper level, and then uh, then there's just like some spot work. Obviously, uh, some of the areas are a little spotty. That's okay. Uh, I'll just touch those up real quick. The brew method is working really well. I'm loving it. Goggles are very important. <laughs> I've had mud in my eye twice now. That's not fun, but uh, it's definitely a messy job. It's raining mud. <laughs> Hallelujah, it's raining mud. Don't tell Jess about the mess I'm making in here. So I got the walls pretty much covered. Uh, looking pretty good, it'll, it'll keep the sun off. Now the thing is, if we get rain, depending on how that rain comes in here, it will literally wash this off because it's just a thin layer of mud. But that's okay, right now, it'll do for what we need. Just need to keep the light off the bags for a little bit until we can start building up from here. And I think we're almost ready to go but I'm gonna make some regular cob batches and fix up some of these areas like this where uh, some of the bags are kind of falling apart. What's kind of nice about having a house made of dirt, you need to make a repair, you just slap some more dirt on it. Uh, I'm gonna patch up some of these areas real quick and then I think we'll be good to go. So I'm working on patching up these walls. Now look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness, a storm is rolling in. 
Uh, remember how I said, you know, if these walls get wet, <laughs> uh, that could uh, that could pretty much ruin the the mud I put on there. But if it ruins the mud on the inside, I might have to redo some of that. But uh, I guess it wouldn't take me too long to uh, maybe make some quick repairs on there. Heading back, it looks like rain. Does he know that? He doesn't care. <laughs> We got protection on there, but it was, but it's, it was a little bit. Uh, those bags were exposed to the sun for a while, and a couple of them really busted loose in there. Yeah, and I noticed uh, just on the inside, you know, because the bags are stepping in and they're like slightly like cantilevered in. Uh, when those bags break, the part that's hanging out over that tends to like just spill. Wants to spill out. So that's something you don't want. I mean, the best way to keep the light off the bags is to complete the dome. Then we don't got to worry about it as much. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's a good lesson like from here up and when we are doing the other dome, we'll probably be covering the bags as we go instead of waiting as long as we did. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, with the uh with getting the bags coated and getting some of those areas patched up, like I did, I think we're ready to start building up again. Jess is coming back. Her skills are gonna be necessary for this upcoming layer. So I'm excited. Oh, good morning. Oh, almost done. Almost done with the patching. I just have a little bit more to go. And there's actually kind of a lot of cobbing to do, even if it's just to fix these patches, because you kind of have to cob around it so everything sticks together. So I am just about all ready to go for the morning. I got my water ready. I got the straw ready. I'm ready to start mixing. It's a cloudy morning. We were supposed to get rain yesterday and then it never happened, which you know we could use it, so it's a little disappointing. Uh, but today there's another good chance of rain. We'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, with those last two patches, we should be good to go inside the dome. Uh, we're looking good now. Those holes are patched up. We got the bags covered with uh, mud. Now, I think we're ready to start building on these walls again. It'd be nice to start moving on up again. We still have a ways to go. I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna start prepping dirt, getting all that ready, and then it's time to start building up again. Let's finish this dome. Yeah! Yeah! 
All right, y'all. We'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to give that thumbs up.